Deep in the mountains of southwestern Virginia exists a well-kept secret. It may be the best kept secret that we've ever come across. At first glance it appears to be just another crumbling coal company town, but upon closer examination the details reveal the history of a diverse, vibrant, and even elegant community. We felt like we opened a time capsule. Today we're going to see Pocahontas, Virginia. We read on their website that they have the first exhibition coal mine in the world and that it's a national historic landmark. Plus we get to go inside. The cemetery there is a registered Virginia historic site and the town itself has state historic landmark district status due to its awesome Victorian architecture. We're really expecting great things because the state of Virginia's historic sites are the best. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, wait a minute. Before we can talk about what happened here, we have to talk about why it's here. Steeped in history, Pocahontas, Virginia was the headquarters for the coal mining operation that helped make the Industrial Revolution possible for America. Mine workers from many foreign countries made their homes here. National Historic Landmark. Pocahontas is a town that was built by coal, more specifically, the world famous Pocahontas Fuel Company. Off. If I were to shut the lights off in here, in here, you can't not see your hand in front of your face. Here's right here is a mining bus. It reminds me of a school bus, maybe because it's yellow, I don't know. <laughs> All the miners here walk to work. Once they got here, they could be working miles back in there. So you wouldn't want to get here or walk to work, it would take you all day. So they would get here, pile inside of here, put your back right here and your feet down here. Hungarian, Lithuanian, Slavish, American, American Negro, Colored American, Polish, Colored, Granish. They had representatives that could speak all these languages. They'd go to the docks at Ellis Island. As these immigrants were coming off the ship, they'd tell them we have a job at a house waiting. None of them knew where they were going, so very few refused. Pocahontas was actually the granddaddy of it all when it came to the coal fields. It was the first coal mine in the coal fields, Pocahontas coal fields. They started mining that in 1882. Two years after it opened, March 13, 1884, this exploded. Ironically, it was Friday the 13th, just like today. But it was, Say that again, ironically, it exploded when? Ironically, it was Friday the 13th. They filled it with water. Right here, we have 260 feet of rock above us. So you can imagine how far they had to come down to fill that mine with water. They knew there was 114 men in there. You let the water out, three bodies come out whole, the rest were body parts. So you probably passed that cemetery on the way in. This explosion started that cemetery. Their diversity is evident in the variety of churches scattered around town.
you can still see the history here. It's, it reaches out and grabs you. Just about a block from the center of town, we were treated to a backstage pass at the beautiful Opera House. It was built in 1895 and is located above the courthouse and jail cells. The Opera House was the first in the region and the latest operettas, vaudeville, and Broadway shows played here. If you look closely, the old advertising curtain reads Jamestown 300 year anniversary in 1907. That was a hundred years ago. The same Broadway shows is from New York. They used to play at Pocahontas. The town was ahead of its time in form and fashion. Beautiful metal facades brought in from St. Louis, Missouri dot the downtown street and have stood the test of time with dignified grace. A great many of the buildings date to the late 1800s and although many have suffered damage over the years, the bones of the once elegant structures are evident and their extraordinary beauty is present in the details. The building that collapsed in the middle of town was the company store, built in 1883 and listed on the APVA Preservation Virginia's Most Endangered Sites in 2005. And then they would bring them and pay and them they the paid script. They not American money, so they could right. link. And that was only good in the company store. Yeah, company, they, had to be there. Yeah, they company couldn't go store. to the next little town and they had to spend it here, at the company store that just failed. Yeah, that's why I wanted to preserve that store. It's, that's a lot of history there. There were many efforts to stabilize the structure, but it finally collapsed under its own weight and neglect just one week before we arrived. To quote the words of a Pocahontas resident we met at Wheezy's Diner, quote, I heard a loud boom and it was gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. And it's almost gone. We don't want it gone. It's almost gone. Pocahontas is an Indian word that means a bright stream between two hills. You were as young as six, six years old. You could work right here. They'd have a sheet hanging right here and another sheet right here. And you were called a trapper boy. Even the girls were called trapper boys. I would have protested that. They worked a 12-hour shift. They stood here in the dark. They would have those rats jumping up on them. That's how many of the old men around here learned how to whistle. They stood here scared to death all day long. They worked a 12-hour shift. They got paid seven pennies a day. This is an old baseball uniform. These are the pads. That's is this cool? This is just cool. See the baseball? Awesome. These are all Harleys, look. And this is Pocahontas. That's oh, Pocahontas. So that's just cute. <laughs> you say it's awesome, baby. <laughs> <laughs>